Good evening. Five nights ago, at around this time, music fans from the northeast were on their way to a pop concert to sing and dance along to American star Ariana Grande to have fun on a night out they'd look forward to. As they left Manchester Arena, six people from our region were killed. Over the last few days, we've heard from some of those who knew Chloe Rutherford and Liam Curry, a teenage couple from South Shields. And we've heard from the partner of Philip Tron, who had taken her daughter, Courtney Boyle, to the concert. Two parents from York, Marcin and Angelica Cliss, also died. Tributes to all of them have continued today. Our cameras are at two events this evening. In a moment, we'll hear from Helen Ford at the Angel of the North, but first to Amy Lee at Marsden Cricket Club in South Shields. Amy. This was a club that Liam loved. It was a huge part of his life. He'd been playing cricket here since he was just six years old. He was good at it and he absolutely loved it. People talking to me at the club throughout the day, coming to leave flowers and getting ready for tonight's game, have said that Liam was an absolutely lovely lad. He was strong, he was mature and he was kind. Now, Liam lost his father only a few months ago to cancer. And there is a special memorial bench dedicated to his dad that is just behind me near the clubhouse. And often on a sunny evening, perhaps like this, Liam's girlfriend, Chloe, who was also sadly killed in the attack on Monday, would often sit on the bench with Liam's mum and they would watch the boys playing cricket. Liam should have been here tonight. He should have been playing cricket. He was the first batsman for the team. Everybody here saying he was a great cricketer and somebody that would have featured for the first team in years to come. They cannot comprehend how someone so young could go to a club and not come back to play cricket on a Friday evening. Now there has been a minute's applause here in tribute to Liam with the support of his parents. That happened just before tonight's game. There have been other tributes tonight to Liam and Chloe in South Shields. They were described as teenage sweethearts, two people who really loved each other and who were meant to be together. There have been balloon releases across South Shields, in Seaham and in Sunderland as well. The loss of two bright, happy young people that has left a community completely and utterly devastated. We also lost two other people from our region, Courtney and Philip Tron. Our correspondent Helen Ford is live tonight with their tribute at the Angel of the North. Well, this northeast landmark will provide the backdrop to another heartbreaking act of remembrance in tribute to those two young, much-loved people who came from Gateshead who died on Monday night. They are Philip Tron, who was 32, and, his, and the daughter of Philip's partner, who was 19-year-old Courtney Boyle. She was a student studying in Leeds. Now, over the past few days, this place has become a focal point for their friends' grief, with flowers and messages of support left at the foot of the Angel of the North. Over the next half an hour or so, those friends will arrive here, ready for a release of yellow balloons at 7 o'clock. Also expected here, the Mayor of Gateshead, and I understand that she will read out a message from Courtney's mother, who is still in Manchester. This community says it wants to show unity. By coming here to the Angel of the North this evening, they'll be giving a very public demonstration of affection and solidarity. Helen Ford in Gateshead and Amy Lee in South Shields, thank you.